Hey everyone, welcome to the shop. It's Wednesday, uh, August 30th, coming up at the end of the month. Got a lot of stuff to do. Divided myself several different ways. Uh, just got done uh, editing two videos for you fine peoples. Uh, had to work on the van, and uh, now back down in the shop working on the plane. What we're doing the plane, I'm just going to kind of bring you back and forth from time to time. I've got the wing struts apart. Uh, I've already put the two coats of uh, uh, nitrate dope on. Doing the going through the first sand. I'm kind of rough sanding it down first because there's little. I need to finish doing the the main part of the sanding where all my little whatever you want to call them, my little brass stud that goes through, and then I've got the little balsa uh, pins. Let's call them. Meant to hold everything together. Um, so. I'm sanding this down, so I'm sanding with some, it's going to kind of, it's going from 80, excuse me, 40 to 80, down to some 120, then I'm putting two more coats back on it again. So I'm getting these things ready to go. Uh, I've got these things already in place so that they won't move. This one is still a little on the soft side, so it's going to set up, um, but I can still get all the sanding done. And then go ahead and, uh, like I said, another coat of dope. So I'm taking care of this stuff today. So once I get this done, then it's going to be bringing you guys back in. I'm going, uh, uh, I need to do uh, the other wing. I don't know if, because you saw me uh, put the servo. I believe you saw me put the servo. I'm hoping you saw me put the servo uh, in the first one. So I'm going to bang through that one real quick. Then, uh, if I don't have anything, any video footage for you when I'm doing that, uh, it's when I'm doing all the final little fills and everything on the wings. I want to try to have, I want to try to, it's kind of tough, it's, uh, I want to try to have the wings, I'd like to have the wings ready to cover by the end of the day today, so it's going to be a really long day. I'll probably be uh, finishing up sometime tonight, which of course you'll be down here for that. Uh, if I can get the wings... Uh, ready to be covered this I've pretty much decided what I'm going to do is once this has uh, everything that I've, I want to have on it uh, to begin with ready to paint I'm going to get some primer and shoot it with some primer and then I'll uh, shoot a couple coats of orange on it and see how it looks because I've kind of decided that uh, because in real life that was just bare aluminum or bare steel tubing uh, painted so if I can get this looking good enough, I'm not going to waste my time uh, and energy on covering this uh, with fabric before I, I paint it. So, um, so, like I said, that's what I've done to all my other planes. Uh, it was literally wood sealed, sanded down, and then uh, prime, primed, and then uh, shot the paint on it. So, I think it'll work fine. So, anyway, so let me uh, let me get back to work on this, and then. Uh, as soon as this is done and I pull the pull the wing in, I'll, I'll start videoing. Whether you're gonna see it all or not, who knows? All right, welcome back. Here's what I've taken care of today. It's 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 late Wednesday afternoon. I'm gonna go upstairs make some uh, make some dinner and then uh, uh, I'll come back down um, and then go work inside because I'll I'll take everything down that's outside and put it back inside. All right, the wings as you can see down there. I've done nothing to the wings today, uh, with the exception of just taking the, the, the struts completely off. Uh, these have been, uh, had, uh, was sanded down, two more coats of uh, uh, nitrate dope, and they're ready to be sanded down again for the final coat. Um, so that's, that's pretty much done uh, it, to that extent. I mean, it's, I'm, that's the easy part of what's going on. All right, then the other thing I did was I jumped on in. As you can kind of sort of see, I built a, uh, um, a little servo, uh, just an area to mount servos. Uh, so this had to be all designed for how I wanted to have it set up and where the servos were gonna need to be. So I've, I've got, this is this one on the inside is the, uh, or on the far side from you guys, is the uh, that's gonna be the pull pull on the rudder I haven't gotten to that point yet I did find some some white tubing because I'm gonna have to start right from the word go I've got to do the tail get the tail ready to go on the rudder um, and then 
uh, then at that point I'm just gonna uh, I don't know start hooking stuff <laughs> confused I'm gonna start uh, I'll run the cable I'll run the cable through the fuselage cross it over see how it's gonna hook up uh, without hooking up to the tail I'll just hook it up to here on the on the control horn or the servo horn I'll run it back and see where the best X is gonna be then I'm gonna take some of that uh, the, the clear nylon tubing um, and that's the, going to be the exit points. So I'm going to have to build. I'm going to have to build some little mounts out of balsa back there just to run it through. So that's not. It's not a difficult job. It's just going to take time. So but anyway, here's here's where I'm at with the uh, with the tail. I I do have I do have everything hooked up. Here's low rates right now. So that's low up and down. And if you come in. You can see that these are bouncing a lot. So if you see a little bit of bouncing in the in the in the elevator, that's what that's coming from. So I'm gonna have to put. Um, let me zoom you back down here again. I'm gonna have to put probably one, two, three, probably four uh, brackets going across to hold it up. Just so, because if I can get rid of this up and down slop in there that'll take care of that up and down shake which I'm it's not gonna affect the plane that much it's a slow flying plane and I could deal with it anyway there's low rates let me move over this way just so you get a little bit better view on what the what the range is all right there's low rates there's medium rates and there's high so I think uh, I think that's pretty good. I didn't get a, I didn't get an angular measurement on it. Um, hang on. Let's bring this little gem out. Let's get an angular measurement. Something that we'll be able to. It's looking pretty good right about there. So that's a, this, we'll go inside and we'll measure that. I'm guessing it's probably, I don't know, I'd like to say 30, 30, 30 to 35 degrees, which should be more than enough for what this plane's gonna do because you're never gonna, you're never gonna aerobatically fly this plane and yank back on a stick like that. Not on this tank. Um, so I figure in flight, most of it's gonna be about there. If you wanna get a little rambunctious and also when I come in, when I'm doing my landing approach, I'll step it up to there. So that's more than sufficient for even for coming in for a landing. Um, if you have to stretch the landing out, then you're going to kick it on the high rates and hold it and hold it and hold it and then just keep doing a maximum flare out just before it touches the ground. Get it within a foot and start flaring even more and then just before it touches down, go to full flare on it. You won't get a bounce. You'll get a nice little roll out. So, um, so anyway. That's where I've gotten so far. We don't have too much in the way of light left. It's Seven o'clock, it's getting dark outside. Of course, it probably looks pretty light on the camera. Um, but I'm calling it a day, so let me just give you a real quick heads up. I never got the wings back on the bench, as you can see. What I ended up doing, was trying to finish up the tail. You saw earlier, I had this uh, elevator servo hooked up. I uh, already walked through what I've got to do. Now I've got to make a couple. This is why I wanted to have the pull-pull system for the uh, for the rudder hooked up first, because there's certain things that need to be moved. This will be coming up. And this will be coming up. So that's no big deal because all of this ended up being in the clear. Let's see if you can see it right there. I mean, we're about a half inch below that, so that's no big deal. But this is coming up anyway. So, um, so none of this will interfere with anything else. Here's the crossover too as well. It's kind of hard to see it, but the crossover is right here, right underneath this beam. So that's going to come down and where it needs to be at, I was going to try to exit through here. Um, it's going to exit in front of this, which is even nicer because seeing that I've got this 
little stringer coming down the side I can morph that stringer in with a uh, put a piece of put a balsa uh, a ball a, a balsa block a, a block of balsa in here with the tube with the uh, I don't know if I've got it out here I may have it inside it's the uh, plastic tube it'll be this this size plastic tube it's bigger than I need but uh, I'd rather have a little bit of extra clearance uh, for getting stuff in and out but this will get seated in some in a in a block of balsa it's gonna get glued in and this of course I'm on the wrong side sorry about the confusion this will end up coming out right here now it won't it, it's going to come out here but it won't be standing proud of this what i'll do is i'll block it in behind here with balsa and then i'll shave this down or sand this down so it's flush with the top of this little stringer so that way when the uh when the cable comes out it it's going to look really good there so that that'll make me happy um so what i'm gonna have to do is the next step is going to be jumping on this and then uh, see how things progress from there. Good Labor Day morning to everyone. Oh my gosh. It's been, been quite interesting at work. And I got so much schmutz on the lens. I'm going to have to clean that off. There's schmutz. See it? It's right there in my forehead. Schmutz. Let me clean that off. Be right back. There, the smooch is gone. Little wipes. Q-tip. Schmutz is gone. All right, anyway, back to business. Here's, uh, it, it is Labor Day morning, and I decided to come down. I got I to gotta head up to go see family. Um, but I figured this morning I'll kind of get a little start. Uh, on little doodads I have to be taken care of. So this morning, I'm playing with the green stuff. It's whatever, whatever coating is on this stuff to begin with. Spider wire. It's, uh, you know, Kevlar. It's real strong stuff. What I'm doing with this is making sure I'm not knocking stuff over. Because there was, there was, you can't see it in this one. You can kind of see it on this side. I just want to make sure I don't knock it. Let me bring it in close. It's kind of hard to see it. Anyway, there's a little crack. Some of the wood where when I put the uh, when I put the little screwy in things, the little wood inserts, it, it started to crack the wood, and uh, that's that's a no-no. I don't want these things falling apart because this is what's holding the plant up in the air. So what I do is go ahead, wind it with spider wire, then I flood it with thin CA, and this is not breaking apart. And you can kind of you might be able to see if I can get in good enough and it focuses. You can see the crack that started on this side. So now it can't split anymore and it's completely wrapped all the way around it. So this should never come out. And if, it, if it's one that's gonna fail, that's the trailing edge one, I'd rather have that one break than the leading edge one. So anyway, um, so that's, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I, I bore you to death and do a speedy up video on this one, but um, it's just me wrapping. I'm gonna get these wrapped up and then uh, cut out because it's, a little after 9 o'clock, figure I want to get here about 10 o'clock, so I'll be back later on today. Um, we're going to get the wings back up on the bench and uh, try to finish those up. Hey, welcome back to the shop. It's Saturday evening. Uh, the sun is setting. That's why you can see the sun in the background up on the house. So anyway, uh, I'm just trying to uh, give you guys a quick little uh, heads up on where I'm at. I uh, spent a whole day down here. Uh, tearing into the plane um, so uh, I didn't I didn't shoot any video because I was I was running around like an idiot I was supposed to head up to Sockville possibly today to do a run for work and that never that never came into uh, to being but um, so that's why I never had anything really set up outside I was doing most of the stuff indoors here's what I worked on all day today I was working on getting the wing uh, ready to start covering today. Um, I figured I'd start with the ailerons, get those done, and then go into the wings. Well, I never got that far. Um, what I ended up doing 
was all the little teeny tiny fine stuff um, that I wanted to take care of this I just realized I didn't finish this but there was a lot of problems with the trailing edge where the ribs the, the little false ribs tail ribs uh, weren't at the same height so it wasn't going to affect the way the plane flew it just made it look ugly so anyway this as you can see I've got to I've got to put another piece in there but what I did was I, I cut little strips of uh, I think it's 532 seconds balsa um, I went ahead and glued those into place uh, got everything properly sanded down uh, filled and doped this one I have to do a, a final sand down and then a final uh, coat of dope on it because I've got four coats of dope. Um, I see a little sanding job. I got four coats of dope on everything, so it's going to be one final little uh, sand and then one more quick coat, and that's it. And then everything gets covered. The wings, the wings too, are all complete and taken care of. Um, there's a couple little things that I I worked on little little pieces I wanted to do then I've got little teeny things like this it's just a little teeny nick really don't want to cut it apart and put another piece of balsa on top I may just throw a little bit of filler on top of that and uh, so when I'm doing my final sand down I'll just hit it with another little uh, just go up one more time with some nitrate dope and then we'll call it done but uh, with the wings Wings are all done, ready to go. So we're getting close. Now, back to this little gem, and I'm gonna take you off the stand. All right, on this one, I went to Digitals. I went to Savix. Never used Savix before. I had a problem with JR Digitals. Never had a problem with high techs, but I got a buddy that flies helicopters and he loves Savix, so he uses them in all his planes. The ailerons are awesome, the elevator is awesome. Now, the problem I'm having with the rudder, because it's all hooked up, is if, if I just bump the rudder, pay attention. It starts doing that. What it's trying to do is it's trying to find zero the problem with JR is that they put in the pots they put the zero the neutral they make it too tight it's too close from one side to the other so the little the little zero sorry about that mosquitoes uh, so the little neutral zone in the middle is not wide enough so it bounces now if I come in and I smack if I smack the I'm going to try to if I smack the rudder down or the elevator down, nothing happens. But it's it's in the rudder. And I don't know what I think it might be is I don't think there's enough tension in neutral on these cables. Because if I put tension on the cables, then the problem goes away. So what I think what it's doing is it's it's inducing the vibration back and forth because as soon as you tap just one side it starts doing it but if I hold both of them it doesn't do it so that's why I think the sensitivity issue is coming on that so what I did was when I put these together um, I didn't oh you can see what I did see I decided to run these things through a piece of balsa um, just to bring it out the side and what I did is uh, some 330 seconds balsa and I kind of plied it where I changed direction of the grain on the inside outside it's really light I may come through and put two holes down here with my uh, uh, Forstner bits just to take a little bit of weight out these things don't weigh anything they're extraordinarily light so I, I may leave them I'm not sure but anyway so this is going to be what I'm going to work on tomorrow morning um, what I may have to do is come in because this one's cranked in all the way I may have to come in and because it's pushed all the way in I can come in and shorten these things um, it's like these up front here I can shorten these 
and then just make sure that they're properly tapped back out to 440 so the fronts will be easier to do than the backs so I may just come out and do that first thing in the morning and then uh, just go ahead and tighten this up and see if the problem goes away because right now if, like I said if I hold it it just stops doing it so I don't think it's so much a problem with the zero being too narrow it's just that it's bouncing off of itself so because as soon as you start moving it it keeps bouncing there's where it stops but I can get it to bounce so I still think because one cable it is a little bit tighter than the other so I'm gonna firm them up and see the best way I can do it to keep them so that there's uh, always some kind of tension um, on it to see if I can make it stop because all that has to be in when I cover the plane so uh, I can't take this stuff out so that's going to be the fun part is I got to make sure it's working the way I want it to without having to take it apart because I can feed stuff back through here again I'd have to just cut the cable pull it all out and then just run cable back through the hole and then just chase it up front so it's not that big of a deal but I'd rather not have to do that after I build a plane so um, I've had to do it in other planes and they're kind of a pain in the butt if you have a hard time getting to it where I put this stuff in it's not difficult to get to while you can get your hand through but once that's all taken care of and I have to go in and get two hands in there that's going to be very difficult so anyway that's pretty much what I've just done for today so um, I'll, I'll be throwing this in with a little video hopefully a little song and dance for you guys for those of you that like it and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what I can get done here uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon uh, because I've got Wednesday and Friday off next week and I'd like to start covering on Wednesday so anyway I'll see you next time I'm back down in the shop Later.